Hello, my name is Richard Cardoza and this video is on early Christian persecution and martyrdom within the Roman Empire. Beginning in the first century and continuing on into the fourth century, many Christians throughout the Roman Empire faced heavy persecution from the Roman government and ultimately became martyrs for their Christian faith. With the growth of Christianity spreading like wildfire throughout the Roman Empire, the Roman government looked upon the rapid growth of Christianity as a threat to its ability to control its citizens. Quote, the Roman government was in practice tolerant of any cult provided that it did not encourage sedition or weaken morality. Unquote. Chadwick, page 25. However, the Roman government did not tolerate sex of people infusing new ideas and new rituals into a stable Roman society. To many persecuted Christians, dying the death of a martyr was considered to be the ultimate act of loyalty to their Savior by following in, in his footsteps. A great example of unwavering faith while waiting to be executed was that of Perpetua within the writings of Tertullian, which states, quote, Thanks be to God that joyous as I was in the flesh, I am now more joyous here. Unquote. Tertullian chapter 4. As Christianity grew leaps and bounds throughout the Roman Empire over the first few centuries, so did the number of Christian martyrs. During the first and second centuries, persecution of Christians within the Roman Empire was minimal, involving very few Christians in comparison to that of the third century. Persecution of Christians during the first two centuries was sporadic and organized by both local and state authorities. Initially, the Roman government was very passive to persecute Christians without allegations from the public. A main goal of the Roman government was to keep the populace happy. The pagan population within Rome considered religion to be a public event and the secrecy of Christian groups raised pagan suspicions about Christians and their intents. Pagans also felt that Christianity was a threat to the respect and loyalty to the pagan gods as shown above. Uproar from the pagan community initiated the Roman government to become concerned regarding the intent of Christians. The decision to persecute or martyr a Christian was ultimately left up to the Roman governors and whether or not they felt Christians were a threat to the Roman society. Christianity was first introduced to Roman citizens by apostles like Peter, James, and Paul who had dispersed from Jerusalem. This era of Christianity can be considered the apostolic period. Following Jesus Christ's death on the cross, the first recorded martyr of the Christian faith was Stephen in 35 AD. Stephen's death as a martyr took place in Jerusalem with the angry mob of Jews stoning him to death. Many other apostles were martyred by Roman officials, including Peter and Paul, in the decades of 60 AD. In 64 AD, a huge fire broke out in the city of Rome with many citizens of Rome blaming the fire on the Emperor Nero, which had wishes of, to rebuild the city of Rome. To deflect the citizens from blaming the fire on him, Nero ordered that Christians were to be rounded up and executed for starting the fire. The Roman historian Suetonius wrote about the execution of Christians under the order of Nero, stating, quote, Punishment was inflicted on the Christians as a class of men to a new mischievous superstition. Unquote. Wilkin, page 50. Peter was ordered by Emperor Nero to be crucified on a cross shortly after the fire of Rome, and Peter's at Peter's request was crucified upside down. It is widely accepted view that Paul was beheaded shortly after the death of Peter. For the amusement of the emperor and many Roman citizens, Christians were put to death through barbaric acts. In some cases, Christians were covered with the hides of wild beasts, and dogs were released to eat them alive. In other cases, Christians were put to get death by crucifixion or being by being burnt alive. Also in the first century, Roman Emperor Domitian developed emperor worship, which called for the citizens of Rome to worship him as a god. In the second century, Pliny the Younger, a governor of Rome under Trajan, wrote about Christian execution within the Roman Empire, resulting from their failure to denounce Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. By the time of the 3rd century, the persecution of Christianity had reached its pinnacle. As a result of the decree of Emperor Dioces in the 3rd century, the persecution of Christi Christians became mandatory throughout the entirety of the Roman Empire. The decree required Roman citizens to sacrifice in the presence of a Roman officer and receive a certificate for the act of compliance. Christians who refused to obtain the certificate were executed. In 257 AD, Emperor Valerian ordered Christians to perform sacrifices to Roman gods and the failure to comply resulted in execution. Valerian 
also ordered that Christian senators were to be stripped of their titles and their property was to be awarded to the state. The order was given that bishops of the church were to be executed immediately. Quote, uncounted thousands were executed for refusing to drop incense into the burners erected on the altars dedicated to the emperor. Unquote. Nardo, page 109. The last and most intensive persecution of Christians was during the reign of Emperor Diocletian. Faithful to the Roman cult, Diocletian was the architect of the great Christian persecution which began in the year 303 AD. Diocletian ordered the burnings of Christian churches, Christian literature, while promising to refrain from murdering Christians. Diocletian reneged on his promise and executed vast number of Christians. Diocletian's persecution of Christians did not have the effect that he wanted. The rate of Christian converts grew even greater during the great Christian persecution. Even though thousands of Christians became martyrs of the faith during the first few centuries, Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire, becoming its official religion in the fourth century during the reign of Constantine. Even with the brutal, barbaric tactics of numerous tyrannical Roman emperors, Christianity had brought the hope of salvation to the population of Rome, which many citizens believed was worth dying for. Thank you, and I appreciate you listening to my video.